<laughs> um, wanted to share this, uh, and when I got the chance to do this, I thought it was going to be so smooth because I known this for a while, you know, you know whatever. And I myself have come to terms with it, but for some reason it's still nerve-wracking, but, uh, hi, yes, hello, you all know me as Tan. Um, but, <laughs> uh, in real life, I'm called Angela, because that's, that's the name on my birth certificate. Um, <laughs> but I'm also, uh, uh, I, I'm... <laughs> I'm also called Raymond because I am gender fluid. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, first things first, because a lot of people just straight up don't know what gender fluidity is. Um, sometimes I feel like a girl, and then sometimes I feel like a guy, <laughs> and it and it flip flops a little a little bit. Um, that's that's what it is, basically. Some people experience, uh, you know, some sort of like non-binary, you know, gender like in there to somewhere. But I I personally just only feel like male and female. Um, never at the same time. It just kind of like shifts, <laughs> for for lack of a better term. But uh, yeah, hi, hello. I'm gender fluid. Um, there's not a lot to it other than that's that. Um, and, um, I, I've known this for a while. I guess I'm gonna do that cheesy YouTuber thing and tell my story. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so uh, my story <laughs> is, uh, cause, oh god, I gotta be theatrical and everything, of course. Um, basically... I, like, when I first realized that <laughs> maybe I'm not completely cisgender, um, was we were dressing up for this project in English. It was seventh grade, and it was, like, some, uh, like, we had to dress up as, like, some kind of old-timey, like, thing, and my character was a male, and I was dressed in, like, male uh, like, Victorian England <laughs> clothing, and, um, uh, I'm like, wow, I feel really comfortable in this, and, um, I was like, huh, huh, you know, maybe, maybe that is just so strange, and I kind of just floated with that for a while and kind of didn't acknowledge it, um, my very first and the only therapist I've ever been able to connect with, uh, her name was Brianna, and I told her about this when I first experienced it, and she was very open about, you know, what it could mean for me, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay, um, at that, <laughs> I was about to say at that point I already knew I was bisexual, but that was, that's a lie, I thought I was lesbian, <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> uh, figured out I was bisexual, eighth grade, and then freshman year uh, was when COVID hit for me. I'm a junior now. Um, freshman year, yeah, COVID hit. And right before school officially, like, got canceled for, like, several months, um, like, and then leading into the summer, uh, I was gone for a week because, and this is going to take a dark turn, <laughs> so just don't worry about it, I'm, I'm I, uh, was hospitalized for, uh, you know, suicidal tendencies, and I've done, I'm, I've done a lot better now. I haven't felt that way in a very long time. Um, but, basically, I was, you know, in, in the mental hospital. Uh, I was exposed to people who were so different and, and new, because <laughs> I live in, uh, you know, kind of a, you know, I, I live in, you know, Appalachia, so, <laughs> um, based, yeah, is it, I'm not very, like, exposed to a lot of, you know, different kinds of people, especially LGBT stuff, um, and, 
I, I didn't really even know that gender fluid was a thing <laughs> uh, until then. And, and then I learned what it was and it was a thing and I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> you know, sometimes people feel things that they don't, there isn't really a label for or they don't want a label on it or whatever. But for me, labels have always been this sort of like, like, God, finally there's a word for it. <laughs> and when I discovered there was a word for it, I was like, holy fuck, uh, that's me. Hello, hi. Um, fun fact, that's also where I discovered that Wicca was a thing. I got my little insects, <laughs> which is completely off topic. But hi, Mala. Um, but basically, hi, you want to be in the video? You want to, you want to be in the video? Hi. <laughs> you want to be in the video? Hi. <laughs> I'm always been doing good. Uh, oh my god, please help. <laughs> Ow, her claws. Uh, but yeah, uh, I just decided to make this because I really love <laughs> my audience and I figured you guys should know. Um, and hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, obviously, I don't uh, expect people to constantly, constantly, constantly ask me you know, for my pronouns 24-7, so, uh, basically, like, anything is fine. Like, even if I'm not feeling, like, feminine or masculine in, in a certain moment, if someone refers to me as that way, I don't, like, it's not uncomfortable for me. It's not offensive to me. Um, but yeah, basically... Hi, Mama. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi, are you purring at me? Hi. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you claw me. You claw me. You claw me. <laughs> basically... Uh, he, him, she, her, they, them, they all work. Um, yeah, that's, that's me. Well, I have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? <laughs> ah, don't bite my nose. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Kitty, I gotta end the video. <laughs>